can I do you for? I need a gun, please. A man follows me. Maybe I have a gun. Do you have a driver's license? Are you a citizen? No. <sighs> Student visa? No, hon, I'm sorry. I can't help you. I'm not gonna hurt you. I tell you I'm not gonna hurt you and you pull a knife on me? Take off your gown. I told you I wasn't gonna hurt you. So guys, so Garcia. Kang, does your shirt say Mr. Aloha on it? Do you not own normal clothes at all? What? Aloha shirts are a symbol of how relaxed and friendly we are. It's what the guys on the Honolulu Force wear. 
This one just happens to be my most friendly S and most relaxed. Well, you're in Dallas now. We play a little bit rougher out here. Looks like her name is uh, Maria De La Cruz. She didn't have a driver's license, but she had that ID for the ESL school. And it uh, looks like robbery definitely wasn't the motive. ESL? Even I know that one. English is a second language. Oh, that's probably because you went there. Okay, howdy. How about this knife? Think this is hers? Could be. Matches the one in the kitchen. Okay, so he didn't bring it with him. I wonder if he even planned on killing her. How about the guy who called her in? He's out back. His name is Lombardi. What's he driving? A green subcompact. Why don't you organize a canvas, see if anybody saw a car parked out front here recently. If they can't see it, they can describe it. You want to specify green subcompact? You remember Washington? Uh, cops asked if anyone had seen a white van with a broken taillight. Everybody said they had. What did it turn out to be? The sniper wasn't in a white van with a broken taillight, was he? No, no. It, it wasn't even a van. It was a car. And uh, Jim, was it even white? No, nah, it yeah. wasn't even white. It wasn't even white. Jim, uh, can we turn her yet? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kang, come here. On three. One, two, three. Figure eight. As soon as we get her photocopied from her ID, I'm gonna check the church angle. See if anyone knew her up there. Let's go talk to this guy, come on. I walked around here, and I saw the broken back door. Did you enter? No. So you won't find your prints in there, right? No, sir, I didn't even touch the door. When was the last time you saw her? When she left work yesterday at 5. She always catches the 512 bus. All right, I want you to go ahead and write down your contact numbers and your address right clearly, King, OK? Check the rest of the neighborhood. Let me check if she got on the bus or got the ride to somebody else. Check the language school, too. I'm going to have Garcia call Mexico, check the bus stop. Let's see if we can find that passport. Thanks, man. Hey, Jenny. Yeah, I'm, I'm still at home. It's, it's just taking longer than I thought. There's no point in me coming back to the office. Oh, oh, right. Judy Wallace, the uh, paralegal applicant. Okay. Have her come by my house, and I'll interview her here. Nunca dijo si le tuviera miedo a alguien. Nunca. Lo siento por sí, hija, señor. Por favor, me llamas cuando llegas a Dallas. Ok, adiós. Nada. The man sends his daughter up here for a better education, better way of life. American dream taken away just like that by some sick bastard. Church was scratched, too. Attended regularly, but no friends, no guys. Yeah, Kang says the school in the neighborhood will bust too. Okay. Next stop, bus stop. Last year, one in five freshman women were victims of rape or attempted rape, according to a recent study. One of the reasons that date rapes are increasing is rohypnol. Now, you guys know it as roofies. 
the date rape drug. Rohypnol is legal in Mexico, and it is easy to smuggle across the border. My advice boils down to one thing. Control what you consume. How do you do that? Say to your date, darling, would you go to the bar and get us some drinks? Yeah, and make her pay for them, too. <laughs> some of us take this seriously, even if you don't get it. OK, guys, we're going to do some role playing. And I have two volunteers. Ah, you must be Judy Wallace. Come on in. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Mr. Manning. Oh, I, I hope you didn't mind coming here instead of the office. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, we had some repairs, had to be done. My wife's out of town. She's, uh, she's actually a flight attendant. Oh. She's on her way to Atlanta. It's fine. Well, make yourself comfortable. Would you like a drink? Oh, yes, please. Would you like to hear about my qualifications? Oh, I have your resume. Here we are. Thank you. Well, your resume looks good. Uh, is this how you would dress for work? The uh, appearance is important at my office. In fact, could you stand up and walk around for me? <laughs> Mr. Manon, I'm sorry. I think I've given you the wrong impression. Oh, I didn't mean to alarm you, Judy. Here, here. Uh, why don't you have a seat? Matter of fact, why don't you lie down? Put your head right here. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I'm Inspector Raul Garcia, Dallas County Police Department. You ladies recognize this girl? I? I know her. The last time I saw her, she was really nervous when a beat up uh, white pickup came by. Thank you guys. I appreciate all of you coming. And remember, be wary of your surroundings. Watch those drinks. Thank you. Did it at the rodeo? Man, how do you get off from that rap? Well, it's simple, buddy. You just say it's consensual. Then she's got to prove that it ain't. Okay, but what about the bruises and stuff? You just say, well, hey, officer. She seemed to be enjoying it at the time. Wow. You're a piece of work. So how many times you get off altogether? What? In this station? All right, fellas. I gotta close out your tab. I'm off. Who's paying? You're off? Well, hey, man. Hands off. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Just calm down.
Take off your clothes. Well, sure, I'll take my clothes off, Catwoman. No! to follow up on any leads on a white, beat-up pickup truck. We don't know the year or make yet, but that's all we have to go on. Let's go find this bastard. Chief. Thanks, Raul. OK, folks, a final note on the agenda. I'm sure by now you've seen Sarah Scott stalking the halls. In January, she transferred from Portland, Oregon to Dallas to finish her PhD in psychology, the specialty in criminal behavior. Now it's official. Big round of applause for, wait for it, Dr. Sarah Scott. Thank you. Congratulations, Sarah. Put it to work, guys. Seriously, she's on the payroll because you need her help. There you go. Go get some bad guys. Long night? Yeah, yeah, something like that. You know what I'm thinking, though? Never. So she, she didn't know this guy, right? No crime of passion. It's no forensic mistakes so far. I, th I, th I gotta think this guy's done this before. You think we're looking at a serial killer? Autopsy? Eight in the morning. You ride with me. Oh. I have to pick up June from the airport. She gets back from Chicago. You're not gonna make that. I know. I'm gonna be so mad. Okay. So I'll just have to get a cab. But we are having dinner, and you're gonna join us. No, thank you, though. Why not? I, I've got two pieces I gotta finish. Again with the sculpting. Stop using that as an excuse. It's not an excuse. So are you coming to dinner or not? No, thank you. Right. Fine, you're gonna miss some great Hmong food. You know, I don't know why you don't just call it Chinese food. It's easier to pronounce, and that's what it really is, so. Okay. Again, I'm Hmong, from Laos, not from China. Even though my ancestors are from the region that the Chinese stole from us. So just learn your history, white boy. You look Chinese, and your food tastes Chinese. Are you? You're Chinese, aren't you? I'm reporting you for cultural harassment. Chris, I need you to take a look at the draft press release for De La Cruz. I gotta give these vultures something. She died of asphyxiation. Yeah, I, I know, but that's just a theory until the autopsy report. Her nose was full of blood and her mouth was taped shut. 20 bucks says I'm right. evidence what's your conclusion she died of asphyxiation you know, the tape covered her mouth and uh, the swollen tissue and blood from her broken nose prevented her breathing thank you Tim for all your work 
great man. You know, I think I'm going to talk to that psychologist. What? I just didn't believe in that. I mean, they called her about Dr. Voodoo. Yeah, I can't think what else to do. Maybe she can see a different perspective or something. <laughs> that or you think she's good looking. Right? Yeah. Is I bet you it's five bucks. You, that's why it is. Not gonna take that bet? Come on. Help me. Well, can I borrow five dollars? Uh, you are horrible with me. I need to eat. So you've got my email? Uh, yeah. You think the knife wasn't his? If he didn't bring it, maybe he didn't mean to kill her. Maybe it was accidental, a rape gone bad. <laughs> a rape gone bad. Are you gonna help at all or are you gonna sit there and snark at me? There are men who hate women. They're called misogynists. I know you know the word. Did you know that there's a word for women who hate men? They're called misandrists. Not familiar because people don't use it very much. Look, besides uh, an expanded vocabulary, what am I supposed to get from that? I don't think you could ever wrap your brain around the level of hatred you are dealing with with this guy. Men like this, they don't rape women because they can't get laid any other way. You're searching for a sociopath who takes out all of his rage on women. The De La Cruz murder was not an afterthought, I promise you that. The stabbing was post-mortem. Listen, you asked me for a profile. Uh, yes, I did. So. Ridiculous. He researches his victims, finds out everything he can, and he takes great pleasure in the process. He's never satisfied. Look, I'm not gonna go into the science of it, but this is a behavior far more addictive and powerful than methamphetamine. There's no room to stop. Did he take a shower before he left? He would have found her blood on him repulsive. Nice. Hey, hey.
want. Sure. Uh, yeah, okay, gotta go. We're looking for a misogynist. Uh, misogynist who, what? Yeah, a woman hater, psychologist, enlighten me. <laughs> yeah, what the? Do you know if the perp took a shower? I don't know, but I'll check. Okay. Shower. You like her! Who? <laughs> Dr. Voodoo! But hey. Yeah! Hot dog Scott. Coxon's on the prowl, like it. We're lunching. Okay, yeah, lunching. You can say that I'm no good for you. But I know you don't believe that. Someday I, I have a confession. Well, okay. I've been asking around about you. You're an artist? Well, that's no secret. I love art. I want to see your sculptures sometime. Sure. Maybe. Maybe. Do you like photography? Uh, yeah. There's an exhibit. Come with me. Sounds good. You know, that's the second time you've asked me out. That's like me or something. Nah, I just like art. Dude, it is not a sport. It, it is it's, a sport. It's like calling, like, water sliding a sport. It's Surfing. Water sliding? That doesn't yeah. make any sense. You're just sliding on the water. If you're not sliding on the water. Absolutely. It's the easiest. That's exact. It's like... It's not what it is. It's Coxie. What's up, guys? Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, what's the location? Be there in 30 minutes. Garcia, we got a sex crime murder scene. You might want to beat on this one, okay? Shoot me the address. I'll meet you there. Sounds good. All right, thanks. Ooh, this one's right. Whoa. Where's this pecker? Did you find it? No, <coughs> not yet. Bruce Brown. Long sheet. He didn't show up to a poker party. One of his buddies came by to see what's up. Is that him outside? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and take a statement, please. <coughs> Gladly. Hey, Chris, check it out. Taser mark on his chest. Yeah. Oh, special blow to the face, too. Wow. I bet that hurt right away. What about, what about this blood on the chin? Can I touch him? Yeah, sure. Holy shit, it's in his mouth. <laughs> eh, it really sucks. <laughs> Don't look at me, I'm not taking it out. You are now. <laughs> Jim, no. You better be getting the tweezers. I'm, nope, I'm calling my mom. How's it? Terrible. That was a tentative lead on a truck of unknown making year. That brown, what a piece of garbage, huh? I mean, several charges of rape dropped and tried for rape and manslaughter of a woman who was suffocated. Chain of evidence problem, so got a light sentence and released early. Let's, let's call the prison, see if it did something to his cellmate or something. <laughs> what for? This is what I say, good riddance, okay? I say, we find Brown's killer and hire that dude to get rid of a few more rats. I didn't hear that. You didn't say that. Hey, let's be honest here, man. Brown was an animal, okay? He kept getting off the hook. He should have been locked away for life anyway. So you're telling me you want to find Brown's killer the same way you want to find whoever murdered Remy Della Cruz? Murder is wrong period. 
We don't want a vigilante settle the score for us. Look, man, my interest in finding Brand's killer is just seeing who it is and issuing justice for some scumbag. Look, man, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you need to quit thinking like that. That's going to do you no good, especially come promotion time. Alright, changing the subject. Mr. Buy the Book, black and white, going with escorts. I just don't get that. Well, the guy is scared of relationships, and he's scared of getting burned. So he hires his girlfriends so he can fire them. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I mean, the guy has no life other than working clay. <laughs> oh, jeez, this guy. <sighs> you know what? I'm actually just glad that he's found somebody he's interested in, other than trying to get them in the sack. Oh, yeah. I mean, has he ever been married? Hell no. I mean, he's too shallow for that. Well, you know, it sounds like Dr. Scott is exactly what he needs. Oh, no. No? No, he's never survived a relationship past the first roll in the hay. And he'll dumb them the first hint they're playing head games. And head games is what Dr. Scott does for a living. Good books lately. Books? Yeah, you know those things with pages between covers. Sorry. Screwed. I I really want to know what's. Who are you? Do you have a family? Do you go to school? And what do you what do you what are your dreams? your name even Marina? We're done. Sarah, hey, it's Chris. Uh, I, I know it's late and all. I just need to talk to you. Why mutilate and then kill? I mean, is Brown a, a sex crime first or a murder first? Obvious guess? Personal justice. Revenge for one of the rapes. Yeah, but women get raped all the time. And, and their victims don't seek out the rapist and cut them up. They, they, they don't murder. Maybe it was a relative. Seeking vengeance. That'd be unusual, too. Whoever did this is a psychopath, that's for sure. <laughs> now, that's a judgment call. In his mind, what he was doing was totally rational. Brown kept on raping, kept on killing. Someone had to stop him. Vigilante. They can be bad if they're wrong, but heaven sent if they're right. They don't care what society thinks. Vigilantes believe that they answer to a higher authority. Okay, how about this? Brown murders De La Cruz and gets killed for it. No, no, he's not that smart. Same perp did both? No, the crimes are polar opposites. Maria's killer was a rapist who took out his rage on women. And Brown's killer was punishing him, specifically. What if the killer was a woman? She used a taser. No, 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 I know. He, got, he took a wallop of a punch to the face. There's, there's no woman that can punch that hard. Oh.
Amelia Bailey. This is good. I've collected some of her work. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm not a collector, though. So, anything new on the cases? <sighs> yeah. One dead end after another. Kang thinks we should be focusing on the De La Cruz killer and not Brown's. That makes some sense to me, too. Does it? The department has only so much time and energy to spend. Maria was young and defenseless. Brown was a rapist and a killer. It's my job to catch both perps. Yeah, you go after both, but then you prioritize. So you like that one? Yeah. That one was always one of my favorites. It's in Indonesia, and they're taking the ice blocks out to the fishing boats. The ice is so cold that they have to wear masks on their faces. You hungry? Yeah. Yeah? I know a place around the corner that has good tacos. <laughs> yeah? What are those little plastic bags for? Oh, some Mexicans think that keeps the flies away. Does it work? Well, there's a couple flies right up there, but you know, who's to say I'll need to be without the bags, right? Kind of like with us in crime. Just so you know, I'm having a really good time. Want to take me to dinner? Third date. Why not? Why not? Let him go, he's not worth our time. That's cool. Gina, what are you experiencing? Still can't sleep much. Can't do much of anything but cry. I keep thinking the tears will run out. I shower over and over. But the filth is still there. It's only been a few weeks. Now tell me again. Whose fault was the attack? I know what you want me to say. You ask me this every time. But I can't get it out of my mind. I should have never gone to the rodeo. I shouldn't have been there. You had every right to be there. If we were to take what you're saying is true. This is all easy for you. You don't know what it feels like. Gina, look at me. <laughs> I do know what it feels like. Set up, all right. Yeah, 
I've been, uh, I've been thinking about what you said about Brown. You and I are a small, very small part of the system that enforces the law. We get to pick and choose what we think's right in the moment or the system breaks down. Yeah, but in some cases, that system that you and I are part of is already broken. Tell me something. Have you ever met someone who is evil beyond redemption? Nobody's all evil, right? And in that case, you haven't, but that kind of evil exists. And in the face of it, our system is impotent. Doesn't mean we stop trying, right? As long as you understand that trying is pointless, and that evil is always going to win until it's snuffed out, then yeah, okay. Let's talk about that more. Wait a minute. I'm not here to hurt you. See, it's just that you remind me so much of somebody I know. Cummins, whose gun did you use? Mine. Well, it, it was my grandfather's. He gave it to me before he passed away. Before you finish it. <laughs> was that a joke? This man broke into my home. He was trying to attack me. I wasn't going to have a conversation with him. Do you know where you hit him? No. No, I don't know where I hit him. No, but I... I don't think I hurt him that bad. He was still trying to come after me. Okay. Okay. I'll be right there. Hospital hit, I'll call Chris, you finish her. King. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? You're gonna love this. So, he drives a white truck, and she says he stalked her. You talked to him yet? Uh, not yet. They're finishing now, and the nurse said he should be out in a bit. 
I did get his name though. George Lehman. Oh, you're not gonna believe this. The doc said his whole body shaved. Check the truck yet? No, it won't yet, of course. But I did take a peek. I saw his blood. George Lehman, I'm Inspector Kang. This is Inspector Coxon. We'd just like to ask you a few questions. I know my rights. Not a word until I get an attorney. All right, Mr. Lehman. What were you doing at Marilyn Cummins' house? She invited me. She invited you? Why didn't she invite you? She started flirting with me at the grocery store. Asked me to meet her at her house. I couldn't resist. What'd you do when you got to the Cummins' house? She asked me in. We talked for a while. Then she said she'd wait for me upstairs and I was to come up in 10 minutes. And? So I sat there for 10 and went up. She was waiting for me, all right. She shot me. Now what motive would Miss Cummins have to shoot you? She's crazy. Did you attack her? Of course not. All right, Mr. Lehman. We'd like to take a look in your house and in your car, if that'd be all right. No way. There are no... ...charges against the Cummins woman for shooting him. I'll be getting to you soon on that. I'm sure you will. Just a tactic. Yeah. If Cummins let it go, he'll let the shooting go. I can't think. I can't think of any other explanation. Let's get a warrant for his car and his house. And uh, seeing as it's Sunday, I'm gonna take a little personal time. So. Personal time. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? I, I'm gonna find out. You do that. <laughs> think any of the women at the rib crisis center would be able to kill the perp that attacked him? Anything's possible, but I don't think so. Most of them are too heartbroken or confused. Confused? Almost all of them ask me, how could God let this happen to me? Them do my job, let them talk through it themselves. What do you think? Why does God allow evil in the world? I figure I'm like a dog. A dog can understand some of what we tell it, but it can never speak our language. Those women ask me questions about God and evil, and the answers to those questions are so far beyond me, like speaking English is to a dog. So, I just listen. What do you think? God gives free will, right? So some choose good and it turns out okay. So some choose evil and it just ruins it for everybody. Simple as that. Studio. What do you think? Yeah. This, uh, these are my professional kilns. These guys get up to about 2,000 degrees. Take about a day to heat up, a day to cool down. And once you fire clay, it's, it's, it's changed forever. And uh, this is my trash kiln. You're not kidding. It really is a garbage can. I know. 
Yeah, I, I just, I love the way the wood and metal interact with the clay. It, it, it interacts in a completely different way than my professional gallons. I actually have something in here I wanted to. My God, it's Nick's. Yeah. yeah, got us tonight. May I hold her? I think you should have her. <laughs> You're really gonna give this to me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she reminds me of you. Get this in your car. Alive again, to touch, smell, laugh, to love. I will hold on to this hour of sunlight, separated for a moment from the eternity of shadows. Maybe he will save me. Can he save me? Is the Nyx not a sign? It is I who am night. Darkness is in me. The night has met the dawn for only a moment. I go back into the shadows to remain forever in the black of night. Happy Monday. It is a nice day, isn't it? I love this weather. Nice day? Love this weather? Oh, man, what's this world coming to? <laughs> Listen, Kang, I've been thinking. Oh, now we're back to normal. So I thought that Brown might have killed Maria, but now we have this layman guy. Oh, yeah. You think there's any truth to what he's saying? I don't know. I mean, Cummins said that he was stalking her, but she never told anybody. I guess we'll just wait to see how she reacts to dropping the charges, right? Yeah. Miss Cummins, this is Investigator Coxon. Yes, I'm ju uh, just calling to inform you that Mr. Lehman is being released from the hospital today. Yes, uh, let me know if you have any questions or concerns. You too. Bye. You think you won, don't you? Well, the game isn't up yet. Sweetie pie.
coxswain. Yeah, okay, we'll be... We'll head back now. God, what a bunch of crazy cases. What's cooking? A lawyer named Manon got his balls cut off last oh. night. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, alive. Ooh. Possible connection with Brown. <laughs> Brown. You got a low-life mongrel. You have a lawyer. One's dead, the other isn't. Connection mutilation? No. Manon has several women that are accusing him of drugging and raping them. Uh, now I comprehend. Hey! Hey! Sorry. <laughs> All right, we gotta talk. I got another sex mutilation case. This time it's a lawyer castrated again, but, but not killed. It was my psychologist thing. Look into it. All right. Uh, two men are castrated. One's murdered. The other's not. I, I, I mean, it's got to be the same perp, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Huh. Let's say it is. Why would you kill one, and then why would you keep the other one alive? I'll have to read up on it. Maybe their crimes were different. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. I like that. So, yeah. So Brown would, would be a badder boy than... The Manon? Uh, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> what brought that on? I know it was him. He was just sitting in his truck, staring at me. There's nothing we can do. We don't have anything on him. Well, I am scared. So what do I do? We talked about that. You know, better locks, more lights. You really have to watch your back. You think... You think he'll come for me, don't you? There's nothing we can do, because you chose not to press charges. And I understand why you did that. But it seriously limited what we can do. <laughs> you order pizza, man? I don't have anything to tip you with. You don't? Maybe because, uh, well, that'll work. as long as they last long enough. <laughs> when are you gonna tell me about your scar? Cold pizza?
do we have, guys? Talk, let's, let's talk it through. What do we got? Where are we? Yeah, I spoke to Manon. He doesn't remember anything. You know that bastard should thank his lucky stars for that 911 call. Man, I'd rather die. Just saying. The perp made that call. And the door is conveniently left wide open. You know, for what it's worth, there were no common victims between Manon and Brown. I mean, not one that we know of, at least. Okay, what else? What's what's the next step, guys? Where does it start? What is this? It's from Portland. Turns out there was a similar crime. Somebody went samurai on some poor guy's nuts. Oh. Three years ago, ex-con. Is this Maine or Oregon? Oregon. Come on, Chris. Where, right Oregon, where does it man. say Oregon? Right here, look at it. All right, get in the zone. Come on. What the hell's that all about? What? Would you take your fangs out of everyone's throat? I mean, you never lose your cool. Never. Which is why it's telling me something's wrong. Yeah. Well, it means you got her in bed and the head games have begun. Right? So off base. You know that? Look, man. Just treat it like a carnival ride. I mean, it's expensive, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't help. Don't talk about her like she's a common whore. You understand me? You understand me? You have no idea what's going on. You know what? Maybe I don't. But you can tell me. Let me help you. Or keep it to yourself. But just stop acting like a horse's ass. I'm going to the gym. Leave it alone, okay? Chris. Well, how do you know that? I, I mean, most hospitals can't test for that. It, it, it disappears out of the blood and body too quickly. The dog had a sample of his blood refrigerated and had it analyzed right away. OK, I don't know what that tells us, Garcia, other than that drug's way too easy to get. The man who purportedly used date rape drugs on his victims. Come on, Chris, it's pretty obvious here, man. Revenge in kind. relationships based on lies before with people I didn't care about. I'm not gonna lie to you. You were nothing but a lie. Chris, you don't understand no, half of no, what No, no, this truth on. has been staring me in the face and I've been turning away from it, okay? The mask and the hamper? You were in the force in Portland when a similar crime happened. Well, it's a bit of a stretch to connect me to that. You volunteer at a rape crisis center. You knew Manon's name before you should know it. And then there were Hypnol and the refrigerator. This is so crazy. This is crazy. I believed that you were the woman I would grow old with. You betrayed me. I sat here. I just let it happen. Please. Please, Chris, I don't oh want to die like this. Oh, my God, don't talk to me. Please don't say
set. What? She confessed. Gonna turn her in? We don't have enough hard evidence to pin it on her. Wow. So what next? Focus on Lehman. For now. Okay. Just so you know, if you decide not to turn her in, this conversation never happened. If he comes, I want you to press this button. We'll be there in seconds, I promise. I, I want my gun back. No, he would take it from you and he would kill you with it. <sighs> okay. Um, I, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't really understand. If you catch him before he would rape or kill me, that wouldn't be enough, would it? To get him locked up, he would just get out and he would come after me again. This is one of those rock and a hard place type problems. Okay, rock and a hard place. Look, if we catch him trying to hurt you, at least we can lock him away for a long time. You should be able to get him locked up forever. Marilyn, you're right. He should be locked up. But we can't lock him up without your help. And we need you to cooperate with us. I will stay at your house as long as you need me to. Okay, yeah, I, I like that. I think I'd feel much more safe. We can actually have an officer uh, stationed at your house. No, I, I prefer Dr. Scott. Mom, Marilyn, I'll drive you home. Garcia, go with him. What? Think about it. She's not even in the same category as the other scum we chase. And what she did is she stepped in when all other options failed. I trusted her. <laughs> yeah, you trusted her. You know what I think? If she doesn't do this again, you let her go. You let it all go. Off your back on that. But she didn't stop in Portland. Stop her from just going to another town and doing this all over again. Stay here until I come and get you. Lock the door.
No, 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 God, God, please, no, no, please answer, please answer, please pick up, please pick up, please pick up. Layman's in Cummings' house. Let's go. Revenge tastes so sweet. Yes, it does. I need you to answer me, man. Sarah, where are you? I need you to say something, Garcia! I have an officer down at the Cummins residence. I need an EMT. Now move! Yeah, I've got your help on the way, okay? This one won't be bothering anybody anymore.
Sarah, I need you to stay with me. I need you to stay with me. I can't, you can't leave me. I see the darkness on the same as night. Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, no, 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 no. Stop that. No, don't do this to me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Thank <laughs> you. 